。先说一个惨痛的教训吧。几年前，我们在凤凰城转机的时候，碰到了一位华人大姐，她因为英语不太好，没有听清楚自己的行李是需要在转机的时候取出来，搞得自己十分狼狈。呃，如果最后行李丢了的话，那就更糟糕了。因为的确曾经也有人因此丢过行李，所以我们多学一些机场英语也是十分必要的。大家好，欢迎来到海之光英语频道，我是 Kathy。I'm Stephanie。今天这期视频主要内容是有关在机场 check in 的，分别是检查证件及核对信息、行李托运、选座位、指引登机口位置等对话。有关安检、海关申报、机场广播等其他的机场英语呢，我们以后再讲。最后，我们安排了一个简单的小测试，看看大家学完视频之后是不是已经掌握了。那我们现在就开始吧。我们来到机场的 check-in counter 之后呢，服务人员通常会先检查证件并核对航班信息。呃，今天的对话里边呢 ，S 就代表 staff 是机场的工作人员 ，P 代表的 passenger 是乘客、旅客。所以后面我们就不再重复了。你好，可以看一下你的护照吗 ？Hello, may I see your passport, please? Hello, may I see your passport, please? Hello, may I see your passport, please? 当然可以，给你。Sure, here you are. Sure, here you are. Sure, here you are. 谢谢。你今天要坐我们航班飞哪里啊 ？Thank you. Where are you flying with us today? Thank you. Where are you flying with us today? Thank you. Where are you flying with us today? 我要去夏威夷。I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii. 我要在那里待两周。I'll be staying there for two weeks. I'll be staying there for two weeks. I'll be staying there for two weeks. 真是太有趣了，听起来是一次很棒的旅行。Have fun. That sounds like a great trip. Have fun. That sounds like a great trip. How fun! That sounds like a great trip. 我在这里看到你的信息了。I see your information right here. I see your information right here. I see your information right here. 好，下面咱们看一下词汇。刚才这里边说到的办理登机手续，英文是 check in， check in， check in。还有一个单词是护照 ，passport， passport， passport。带照片的证件 ，photo ID， photo ID， photo ID。带照片的证件呢，是包括护照啊、驾照之类的。我们如果是出国旅行的话，一般是出示护照；但是是国内航班的话呢，一般对方会这样问你 ：Can I have your photo ID? Can I have your photo ID? Can I have your photo ID? 所以我们只要出示驾照或者是其他的带照片的证件就可以。好，第二个对话，行李托运。你今天有要托运的行李吗 ？Are you checking in any bags today? Are you checking in any bags today? Are you checking in any bags today? 
是的，只有一个。Yes, just one. Yes, just one. Yes, just one. 很好，你可以把它放在秤上吗 ？Perfect. Can you put it on the scale? Perfect. Can you put it on the scale? Perfect. Can you put it on the scale? 在这里边 ，put 也可以用 place 来替换。好的。Okay. 嗯，看起来你的行李有一点太重了，超过我们的重量要求了。Hmm. It appears your bag is just a bit too heavy. It's over our weight requirement. Hmm. It appears your bag is just a bit too heavy. It's over our weight requirement. Hmm. It appears your bag is just a bit too heavy. It's over our weight requirement. 你也许可以从行李里拿出一些东西来，放在随身行李里。Perhaps you can take something out of your bag and put it in your carry-on bag. Perhaps you can take something out of your bag and put it in your carry-on bag. Perhaps you can take something out of your bag and put it in your carry-on bag. 好的，我把这本大书从行李里拿出来吧，没问题了。Yes, I'll take this big book out of the baggage. No problem. Yes, I'll take this big book out of the baggage. No problem. Yes, I'll take this big book out of the baggage. No problem. 太好了，现在你的行李已经准备好托运了。Great, now your bag is ready to be checked. Great, now your bag is ready to be checked. Great, now your bag is ready to be checked. 好，我们来看一下刚才的对话里边有哪些生词。第一个是办理行李托运，英文是 check in baggage， check in baggage， check in baggage。那么托运的行李怎么表达呢 ？check baggage， check baggage， check baggage。呃，刚才我们对话里看到一开头问的是 bag， 其实 bag 就是 baggage 的缩写。那下一个秤，英文是 scale， scale， scale。还有一个动词显示，似乎 appear， appear， appear。下一个表达是重量要求。Weight requirement. Weight requirement. Weight requirement. 它这个词呢，相当于是说重量的限制。还有另外一个表达。Weight limit. Weight limit. Weight limit. 所以超重的英文表达应该是 over the weight limit. Over the weight limit. Over the weight limit. 好，那么当我们的行李如果超重的时候，一般会建议我们拿出来一些放在随身行李里。那么随身行李就是说要带上飞机的那种。那它的英文表达是 carry on, carry on, carry on。也可以说 carry on bag 或者 carry on baggage。在我们办理行李托运的时候呢，呃，服务人员可能还会问以下两个问题
。第一个是，你有任何时候让你的行李离开过视线吗？这个问题是在美国的机场特别容易被问到的啊，他一般会这样说 ：Have you left your bag unattended at any time? Have you left your bag unattended at any time? Have you left your bag unattended at any time? 我们可以回答 No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. 好，第二个问题是，他会问你的行李里有液体、电子设备或锋利的物品吗 ？Do you have any liquid, electronic devices or sharp objects in your bag? Do you have any liquid, electronic devices or sharp objects in your bag? Do you have any liquid, electronic devices or sharp objects in your bag? 如果里边有液体、电子设备或锋利的物品，他一定会让你拿出来的。如果没有的话，就可以回答 No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. 另外啊，很多人都会遇到需要转机的情况。如果你想问行李是否能直接到达目的地，可以这样问 ：Can you check my baggage through to my final destination? Can you check my baggage through to my final destination? Can you check my baggage through to my final destination? 意思就是你能帮我把行李直接托运到最终的目的地吗？如果我们坐的是国际航班呢，通常情况下是不可以的，是需要我们中间把行李取下来，过好海关之后再到下一站。不，我不能。你需要在墨尔本机场取行李，然后过海关。No, I can't. You need to pick it up in Melbourne to go through customs. No, I can't. You need to pick it up in Melbourne to go through customs. No, I can't. You need to pick it up in Melbourne to go through customs. 这时候你可以问我们的飞机中途停留多久啊 ？How long is our layover? How long is our layover? How long is our layover? 大约两个半小时。About two and a half hours. About two and a half hours. About two and a half hours. 那时间足够了。That's plenty of time. That's plenty of time. That's plenty of time. 好，今天第三个对话是选择座位。我发现你之前选择了靠窗的座位，你现在还是想选这个座位吗 ？I see you've chosen a window seat. Is that still okay for you? I see you've chosen a window seat. Is that still okay for you? I see you've chosen a window seat. Is that still okay for you? 我想是的。我以前从来没坐过飞机，所以我想能看到窗外的云应该很不错。I think so. I've never flown before, so I thought it would be nice to look out at the clouds. I think so. I've never flown before. So I thought it would be nice to look out at the clouds. I think so. I've never flown before, so I thought it would be nice to look at at the clouds. 这是你的第一次飞行啊，那么这太棒了，你会喜欢这次旅途的。This is your first time flight. Well, that's fantastic. You are going to love it. 
This is your first time flight? Well, that's fantastic. You are going to love it. This is your first time flight? Well, that's fantastic. You're going to love it. 继续说，我来帮你打印登机牌，然后你就可以走了。Let me print your boarding pass, and you'll be ready to go. Let me print your boarding pass, and you'll be ready to go. Let me print your boarding pass, and you'll be ready to go. 好的 Okay. 给你登机牌，你的航班号是 DL 四五零啊，你的手续都办好了。Here it is. Your flight number is DL four five zero. You're all set. Here it is. Your flight number is DL four five zero. You're all set. Here it is. Your flight number is DL four five zero. You're all set. 非常感谢。Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. 好，我们来看一下刚才的对话里边有哪些词汇和表达方法。第一个是中途停留 ，layover, layover, layover. 第二个座位 ，seat, seat, seat. 好，飞机上座位一般分三种。第一种靠窗的座位怎么说呢 ？Window seat, window seat, window seat. 靠走道的座位。Aisle seat, aisle seat, aisle seat. 另外就是中间的座位，英文是 middle seat, middle seat, middle seat. Fly 的过去分词是哪一个呀？ Flown, flown, flown. 好，那么航班、飞行这个名词是 flight, flight, flight. 航班号是什么 ？Flight number, flight number, flight number. 还有一个特别重要的就是登机牌 ，boarding pass, boarding pass, boarding pass. 这个表达大家一定要记住哦，因为很重要。我们在办理这个登机手续的时候，最重要的就是拿到登机牌。其实大多数情况，机场的服务人员会直接问你，你想要哪个位置的座位？这时候他会这样说 ：Which seat do you prefer? Window, middle, or aisle? Which seat do you prefer? Window, middle, or aisle. Which seat do you prefer? Window, middle, or aisle. 意思是你想要哪个座位？靠窗、中间，还是靠走道？乘客可以回答，请给我安排靠走道的座位。I would like the aisle seat, please. I would like. The aisle seat, please. I would like the aisle seat, please. 那么有时候呢，服务人员他没有问我们，而我们想主动的让对方给安排座位，可以这样说 ：Excuse me, can I get a window seat, please? Excuse me, can I get a window seat, please? Excuse me, can I get a window seat, please? 老贾，我能要一个靠窗的座位吗？在这里，我们可以根据自己的情况把 window 替换成 aisle 或者 middle。好，第四个对话是指引登机的位置。先是机场的服务员说：“你的航班会在 C 航站楼五十四号登机口起飞。” You are going to depart from Terminal C. Gate fifty-four. 
You are going to depart from Terminal C, Gate Fifty Four. You are going to depart from Terminal C, Gate Fifty Four. 我需要什么时候到达那里 ？When do I need to be there? When do I need to be there? When do I need to be there? 你应该在起飞前一小时到达登机口。You should get to your gate about one hour before departure. You should get to your gate about one hour before departure. You should get to your gate about one hour before departure. 好，乘客问，那我怎么去登机口呢 ？And how do I get to the gate? And how do I get to the gate? And how do I get to the gate? 你在那边的咖啡厅左转，安检就在你的正前方。You'll turn left at the coffee shop. Security will be directly in front of you. You'll turn left at the coffee shop. Security will be directly in front of you. You'll turn left at the coffee shop. Security will be directly in front of you. 等你通过安检之后，跟着指示牌往第五十四登机口走。他应该就在你的右手边。Once you are finished clearing security, follow the sign to Gate Fifty Four. It will be on your right. Once you are finished clearing security, follow the sign to Gate Fifty Four. It will be on your right. Once you are finished clearing security, follow the sign to Gate Fifty Four. It will be on your right. 乘客说：“非常感谢你的帮助。” Thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much for your help. 不客气，祝你旅途愉快。You're welcome. Enjoy your flight. You are welcome. Enjoy your flight. You are welcome. Enjoy your flight. 下面我们来看一下这个对话里边的词汇，比如航站楼的英文是 terminal, terminal, terminal. 那么 A B C 航站楼就是 terminal A B C. 下一个起飞的名词 ，departure，departure，departure departure, departure。啊，登机口英文是 gate，gate，gate gate,。还有安检 ，security，security，security。如果你看不懂登机牌上的信息怎么办呢？你可以这样问：劳驾，能麻烦你给我解释一下登机牌上的信息吗 ？Excuse me, could you explain the information on the boarding pass for me, please? Excuse me, could you explain the information on the boarding pass for me, please? Excuse me. Could you explain the information on the boarding pass for me, please? Or we can also ask the passenger, "Can you tell me where the boarding pass is displayed on the boarding pass?" Excuse me. Could you show me where the boarding time is? Excuse me. Could you show me where the boarding time is? 
Excuse me, could you show me where the boarding time is? 这时候，对方通常会这样回答你 ：Sure, it's right here. Your boarding time is 11:50 a.m. Sure, it's right here. Your boarding time is 11:50 a.m. Sure, it's right here. Your boarding time is 11:50 a.m. 当然可以，就在这里。你的登机时间是早上的十一点五十分。我们下面来做个小测试吧，看看你掌握的怎么样了。第一个问题是 ，Have you left your bag unattended at any time? 这句话是什么意思呢？我们让 Stephanie 再读一遍。Have you left your bag unattended at any time? 好，现在公布答案了。这个意思就是，你有任何时候让你的行李离开过视线吗？第二个问题，如果你想让服务人员安排一个靠走道的座位，那么你应该怎么说呢？我们现在给大家一个参考答案，当然你也可以有其他的说法。Excuse me, can I get an aisle seat, please? Excuse me, can I get an aisle seat, please? Excuse me, can I get an aisle seat, please? 好，第三个问题，如果你需要转机，想问飞机中途停留多久，应该怎么说呢？给大家一个参考答案。How long is our layover? How long is our layover? How long is our layover? 你都答对了吗？如果今天的视频对你有帮助的话，请一定要点赞转发啊！想要学习其他场景英语的小伙伴们，请点击播放列表里边的生活场景英语。最后，祝出门旅行的朋友们玩得开心，也欢迎在评论区分享你的旅行见闻。感谢收看，我们下次见。